Hey everybody, I'm Armazir and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Egypt. So, let's continue where we left off and I decided to settle on the southwest side of the lake. Because first, it will be easier to defend and that might be important because Washington already wants my lands. And we'll have the option of building Neuschwanstein in this city in the future. I won't be building right next to the mountain. As much as I'd like to get the observatory, I will lose too many years if I settle here instead of here. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. And the two cities would overlap a little bit too much if I settled here. This is only four tiles away from Thebes. And it's not worth settling on this tile either. So we are going to settle right here. And I don't want to settle on top of the Barbarian camp either, because then I lost the ability to build Neuschwanstein in this city. And I would like to get that in the future, as always. So the granary is almost done. I think I'll get a mine first before connecting the sugar. I really need more production in the capital. So sugar can wait. It will take nine turns to get a mine. All right, let's build a mine. And we'll start the city right away. Done. All right. We do have enough gold to buy one tile. It's probably worth buying the oasis. It will speed up the city growth significantly. All right, let's do that then. And we'll start. I could actually build a monument. Well, no, we won't finish it before legalism. Never mind then. Shrine. Okay, and let's keep exploring. We still need to find one more AI. Let's have a look at demographics. Okay, nothing to see here. Granary is done. I wouldn't mind another worker. Yeah, one worker isn't really enough. We'll build a worker and then recruit another settler. Not quite sure where the third city is going to be. There are quite a few pretty decent locations for the third city. I might settle somewhere around here. Maybe a coastal city. I would like to have at least one decent coastal city. Not quite sure what exactly just yet, but we'll get at least one coastal city. So cover one and you can stay inside Memphis for now. Natural wonder. Okay, Mount Kailash. That's a nice one. It's a little bit far away from us. The creation of friendship, yes. But if there's no AI around here, I might consider a long distance city. It would be a little bit risky. Might not be worth doing. Oh, Gandhi is here. Okay, never mind. He's probably going to settle that. And we can get a Pantheon. But first, legalism. What about that Pantheon then? Which Pantheons are actually gone? Let's check that real quick. Culture from pastures, faith from desert tiles. Okay. Mosques and pagodas are gone already. So we won't be getting that. Do we even have a chance to get a religion? Yeah, technically we do. Free religions can still be founded. We probably won't get it though, unless I settle a long distance city next to Mount Kailash. Anyway, what about that Pantheon? What are the options? We don't really have a lot of good options, to be honest. I don't know about this. Yeah, we seriously don't have a lot of good options here. I might go for something generic, like 10% faster growth rate, which isn't terrible. Plus one culture from plantations would be okay-ish. I already have two plantations and I'll get three more. So that wouldn't be awful. A little bit of extra culture. I might go for that one. We'll probably lose it because it's very unlikely we'll get a religion. Again, unless I set up a long distance city next to Mount Kailash. That's the only way we stand a chance to get a religion. All right, let's go for culture from plantations. That will give us a small culture boost in the early game. Yep, done. Okay. So, let's continue. I will still finish the mine because I seriously need that production. And let's keep exploring. That's his capital. Yeah, settling this city would be extremely risky. That's assuming he won't settle it long before I get a third settler. Or a second settler. Another city-state. That's a mercantile one. That's good. 
I don't think I'll be taking advantage of that quest. No. We got writing. Let's keep exploring. We could explore with the spearmen a little bit, although I need to have defenses in case some barbarian camps spawn close to my capital. As for research, philosophy, well, getting construction might be a good idea. Because again, Washington already wants my lands. I need more defenses than this. I can accept embassy with Gandhi. I suppose it's fine to accept embassies by now. We can accept them all. Let's find that last AI. He has to be somewhere around here. Well, he might be on the other side of the world. The city is about to grow and we're about to finish the mine. That's perfect timing. Now I can work that mine right away. Yep, work the mine. The city growth is still fine. Okay, we'll finish the worker and then probably recruit another settler. I need a second worker ASAP. Accept embassy. That's a strange city right here. Really? Why did you settle this city? What? This isn't even every good city. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not exactly amazing. And that's a very long distance city. <laughs> and right next to Moscow as well. Hey, whatever floats his boat. It might make it easier to get Russia to fight Indonesia. Alright, so let's work on the plantations. That's culture, not to mention gold. When I sell them to the AI. Which tile are we working? The production. Yeah, actually, let's keep working the production, although giving up one hammer to get one food and two gold is a good deal, I would say. Okay, so where the heck is that last AI? He might not be in this direction, he might be around here, behind Germany. That's definitely a possibility. Okay, then we'll explore in that general direction. There's a barbarian camp over here. I should probably get rid of that, unless the AI already did, but I want to explore this area a little bit at least. So that's why I'm going there. I could steal a worker, but that's probably not worth it. I already stole one worker from a city-state. Declaring war on a city-state again would be a bad idea. Let's not do that. Alright, let's go west. We got the iron, nice. This city will have 12 iron, that's insane. Oh, Germany settled the city. Well, I suppose I expected that. This isn't even a very good city. It will be better to settle it more to the east, but hey, whatever floats his boat. I should try to stay friendly with Germany for now, but he doesn't desire my land, that's fine. Would be nice to get him to fight America. Because again, Washington desires my lands. That's not so good. Can I get them to fight already? I don't really have a lot of gold to bribe them with. But who knows? Yeah, he would actually do it, but he's asking for a lot. It might still be worth doing it once I get the sugar. Or even right now, I'll hook up the second sugar soon enough. Let's check the army size. Military manpower. I think it's worth getting them to fight each other. Especially keeping Germany busy. Germany is usually a fairly strong save on deity, even with random personalities. Their late game production potential is just huge with their unique building. I think I'll accept this. Okay, let's do it. We'll miss out on some gold from the sugar, but whatever. And we got a warrior, that's useful. Could have been better, but he's free, so whatever. Can't complain about that too much. I can always upgrade him to my unique unit later. So this should keep Germany and America busy for a bit. And they are my two closest neighbors. We got some gold back. And let's go northeast instead. We got the sugar back. And the second worker is almost done. I can accept that. So the third city is probably going to be somewhere around here on the coast. I would like at least one coastal city. And this city would have a decent production potential. Oh, there's an AI over here. Oh yeah, that's Portugal. Well, I still want this city. Especially this choke point. This is going to be a pretty important city strategically. 
if Portugal settles this, it will be pretty tough to crack. So, yep, that's going to be our third city. Let's grab that plantation. The farm can wait a little bit. Or this worker can get the plantation. Sounds good. So, settler. After this. One of the other reasons why I got Germany to attack America is because I don't really want to focus on military just yet. And if I don't get archers or composite bombmen, I won't really have enough units to defend myself. Which is why I want to keep Germany and America busy. That way I don't need to spend production on units just yet. I will be fine as long as they are fighting each other. So, Settler, can we speed that up? We probably can. Let's have a look. Lock all the production. That's two more dudes. I would like the gold and culture. 15 turns. Okay, 15 turns. That's fine. 14 turns. That's better. Yep. Okay, looks good. 14 turns. Well, hopefully Portugal isn't going to settle this. I really want that location. I could keep my spearmen over here to discourage Portugal from settling this. We could even grab pearls. Hmm, I'm not quite sure what exactly I'm going to settle just yet. We could settle here. Again, I could get an observatory, but then I would have to give up a coastal location. And I want a coastal city specifically. So, no observatory, unfortunately. Plantation. Bismarck completed Terracotta Army, okay. Did anyone go honor? Let's have a look. Liberty, Tradition. Washington went for honor. Germany went for Tradition. Okay, so America went for honor. That's something to keep in mind. That probably means they are going to be fairly aggressive. Washington is a pretty aggressive AI, actually. So let's go northwest. Hmm, what about this location? This will be an okay city with an observatory. Two tiles with fish, sugar. It wouldn't be amazing, but I don't know, I might consider this. It has a few hills. It would have decent production in the future. We'll see. That might be the fourth city. You will stay here. No more fish, I was just checking. 10 turns. Well, it will take a while. What about our research? We need some caravans. If only to get the science. It would be nice if Germany sent some caravans to us. No one is sending any caravans right now, unfortunately. Which sucks, because that can give you a lot of extra science in the early game. Nine more turns. We can trade with Gandhi. Is he going to sell one of these resources? Gold or ivory? My cities want salt and gems. We can't buy that, unfortunately. I think I prefer the gold once I hook up the sugar. Rather than under the luxury, although I'll need more happiness for the third city. How many more turns? Three more turns. Let's check if he's going to trade one for one. He might. Yes, he will. I guess he's getting ivory from a city-state or something. So that's useful. We'll hook up the sugar soon enough. Send this guy northwest. I still need to find one more AI. I think he's going to be behind Germany or something like that. Looks like it. So we got the sugar back. Six more turns for that settler. And then we need a library. This is going to be a very late library, unfortunately. But oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. Which is why it sucks no one is sending caravans to us. I would really like that extra science right now. Let's get more production. So, mines. Great wall. Well, I'm glad that wasn't my neighbor. Catherine is on the other side of the world. The farm is done. So let's explore northwest. Another mine. And library. Zero religions. Oh well. I need shrines for my unique building later anyway. So do I want to buy any tiles? 
This is not very good. Let's buy that deer. Like so. That will give us much better yields. And I wouldn't want Germany to steal that tile later on. Steal that barbarian. And another mine. Yeah, just to maximize production. For the times when I'll want to switch to full production. When trying to build some wonders and such. I would like to take advantage of my unique ability. So I'll try to build some wonders once we get a chance to. Mine. I can't get open borders with Germany yet. So I'll have to go around. Can I even go around? No. It might be worth waiting for optics before I send that scout to explore. Otherwise, he might get stuck. I could just escort that settler with a worker. I mean, with a scout. Almost done. And then we'll need to focus on National College. So, yeah, library and then maybe water mill. Let's change the tile assignments real quick. So, the farm, obviously. And all of these. Seven turns for the city to grow. Okay, seven turns is fine. And then we'll work the mine. So, off you go. Ask for the policy. Monarchy or London Elite? I think I prefer London Elite first. Our happiness should be fine. I'm pretty sure it will be fine. Yeah, okay, let's go for London Elite first. We'll grab Monarchy after that for the finisher. This is a fairly slow start, but I'm pretty sure it will be okay. There are several decent locations for cities over here. This will be a reasonably decent city in this area. But I really want that choke point before Portugal settles it. It will make future war against Portugal much easier if I am the one controlling the choke point. So that's the plan. Next, these two mines should give us a nice production boost. So, you can protect the settler and we can send the scout back to our capital for now. The only thing I don't like right now about my start is the science. The science output is just awful. We need to fix that ASAP. Can we explore to the south? Probably. We can try. Oh, there's a Barbadian camp over here. Alright, we'll take care of that. I need to keep Germany and America busy. The plan is to stay friendly with Germany and see if we can get them to fight Washington. That's pretty much the reason why I settled the city on the southwestern side of the lake. This lake will make it much easier to defend myself against Washington if Washington attacks me, which he might between his wars with Germany. So this will make it so much easier to defend myself. As for research, sailing. We don't need trapping just yet, do we? I do have at least one deer, but it can wait. Let's get sailing, if only for the trade route. I need the caravans as soon as I finish that library. So what about the city location? Right here, I think. We might even get the fish, although it looks like Portugal will get it. But we'll get the ship on that island. That's not terrible. Yeah, I don't think this is the best location right now. Yeah, this needs to be a coastal city, so coastal city. As for you, let's go hook up the spices and the iron. I would like to sell that sometime soon. But I really wanted this production boost. Open borders? No, I need open borders with Germany. So let's explore to the south and start the city. I also need more culture to get that tradition finisher a little bit faster. So, well, we're going to need the pearls, but we need a library. Do I want to hard build the library? I want to have enough money to buy it. I would need 550. I could get enough money by selling iron. It's not a terrible idea. It might be a little bit faster. Nah, let's just hard build it. There's no guarantee the AIs I'm friendly with will be willing to buy the iron. 
So either they go for a safer option and hard build it. Okay, let's send one worker to Memphis, like so. As for you, you could get started on a road. Or we could get more farms. But I will be working the mines with my extra citizens right now to speed up the construction. We can get the city connection first for the gold. Right, Portugal didn't like that city. But it's okay, I don't plan to forward settle them anymore. We can promise we won't expand near them in the future. This is a nice location for a city, wow. I actually really like this one. Hmm. Okay, I might consider this. It's a little bit close to Portugal. And I would have to settle here if I want my future fleet to be able to move through because there's ice. But I could have a city here with an observatory. Yeah, I might consider this later. We'll see. There are still at least two, maybe three decent locations for cities. But for now, we need to focus on libraries and the National College. Once we're done with that, we might consider more cities. I could just cut the culture. Maybe I will plant some flags. Perhaps, but first, let's get that road done. I'll probably build one road section with this guy too. I'm not in a huge rush to connect that iron, but I do want to sell it ASAP. Okay, let's build a road here. That's four turns. That's a lot of sheep. Reformation belief. That's Portugal. What's their religion? Missionaries can convert barbarians. Okay. Pagodas. Yeah, pagodas are nice. I wouldn't mind some pagodas. Let's set them to auto-purchase. That's a pretty decent religion. And faith from gems and pearls. That's kind of useful if I get the pearls. Not amazing, but it's something. Now, we need to fix our science, seriously. Okay, Germany is sending some caravans. That's good. And we need caravans after that library. It should be a little bit faster once the city grows. And trapping and then philosophy, I think. Only four turns to get trapping. And I can get a camp on that deer. We still need to find one more AI. I might have to wait to get open borders with Germany. Germany entered the medieval era. Okay, then. The road is done. And this one will be done on the next turn. The library is almost done. I'll check the tech ranking on the next turn. Okay, the one AI that we didn't meet has the strongest army right now. So that's probably going to be someone militaristic. Looks that way. Let's check the tech ranking, how bad it is. We're at 12. It's not that bad. Considering how low my science output has been, this is not bad at all. It's fine. We just need to keep Washington busy because I don't really want to fight a war right now. And get rid of their barbarian camp. I could technically convert them if I get a missionary, but I'd rather save for a pagoda, honestly. So, spices or iron? It actually doesn't matter that much what we're going to hook up first. Let's hook up the spices because we are already here. The library is done. Okay. Now we need that national college. Should be able to get it before turn 150. At least building the national college itself will be fast. Because that's still a wonder, just not a world wonder. We need 18 turns for the tradition finisher. But anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.